Hey y'all, it's Paris and I'm back with another video. So today I just wanted to tell you guys to pay attention to what God is showing you in this season. Pay attention to what God is showing you in this season, okay? It doesn't matter if he's showing you something in a situation. He's showing you something at school. He's showing you something at work. Maybe he's showing you something at, at a place where you're living right now, okay? He's revealing some things to you, right? And so he's showing you these things for a reason, okay? And the reason could be that he wants you to either fix the problem or he wants you to do something about it, okay? Either way, he wants you to do something about it, but pay attention to, to what God is showing you and pay attention to how you feel while he's showing you these things. So for instance, you guys should know by now that God had me to move again, okay? And since I have moved, I finally have a new job, okay? So at this job, I work with uh, people with intellectual disabilities. Like they're high functioning, but they still have um, intellectual disabilities. And so with that being said, they're still capable of doing everything we can do. So um, what I noticed or what got, you know, what I realized that God was showing me was that during lunchtime, um, my clients, they're all siblings, okay? So they have the same thing for lunch each day, okay? They have a bologna sandwich, like with nothing on it, no mayonnaise, no mustard, just just bologna and bread. And then sometimes I'll have chips and an orange, okay? So literally that is their lunch every day. And so um, me and my coworker, of course, we bring what we have from home, right? So I don't bring anything, you know, lux luxurious or nothing like that, but um, I remember, you know, just bringing, um, some yogurt. I, I think I had brought some chips one day and some peanuts. Like I, I just had a bunch of, of options. And so every time I got ready to open something, all of them kept looking back. All of them kept looking back as if I had a whole candy store with me. Right. And so it kind of troubled me a little bit. And I was like, why do they keep looking back? And then I realized to my coworker, when she started eating her food, they was looking back. So when I left from work and I was done with my shift, God had me thinking like, Paris, why does this bother you? Why are you bothered, Paris? And God started showing me like, they're not getting enough to eat at home. They're not getting enough, uh, enough to eat at home. And the thing is, they have no excuse of why they're not getting fed enough because when you have people with, when you are in charge of people with intellectual disabilities, let's say you're, you're a foster mom or whatever, like you have to be getting some money for taking care of them, right? So there's no reason why they shouldn't have enough food. There's no reason why they should be hungry, right? Well, with that being said, since we know and since you know now that people with disabilities, they receive money, right? There should not be a reason why they should be acting like they're hungry. So when God started showing me that, I started thinking about it and I was like, I wonder if, you know, uh, the parents are not feeding them enough. Like, like something is not making sense. You got this because because we have to drop them off at home, right? So they have this nice house. They have nice cars outside, but the kids are hungry. Something ain't making sense. Something ain't adding up. And I know you're probably wondering, like, Paris, why are you sharing with me this information? The reason why I'm sharing you this information is because where God has placed you, it is not for no reason, you are at that job for a reason. You are at that school for a reason. You are you are living with someone for a reason. God is showing you things, okay? And these things may be troubling you. And they're troubling you for a reason. They're troubling you for a reason, okay? Just like with Joseph in the Bible. Joseph, he, he was troubled because... When he was placed in prison and then he saw the other prisoners and, and then the prisoners were, were looking sad, he asked them, like, what is troubling you? What's making you look so sad? 
because he was concerned. He was concerned. He wasn't thinking about himself. Just like me. I was aware of the fact that they were looking at me like, like I had candy in my hand. And I was like thinking to myself, if I, if I have food, I'm not going to be always looking back when somebody opens up a bag of chips. Something should tell me that they're not getting enough at home. So what I'm trying to tell you is, 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 is to pay attention to what God is showing you because you may be at that place for a reason. Maybe, you know, something is being neglected. Maybe something is not going on that should be going on. God placed you there for a reason. Maybe it's bothering you for a reason. So the thing is, what are you going to do about it? When you see, you know, uh, let's say you're at work and you see, you know, people being mistreated. Are you just going to let them be mistreated? Are you just going to have the attitude? Well, I, I come to get a paycheck and, and, and I go straight home. Or are you going to try to do something about it? Are you going to try to do something about it? And so since I have learned that, you know, this is going on with my clients, I started, you know, talking to my lead person. And I asked them, so what can we do? And so the lead person was saying, well, even if something is done, you know, the, the all the clients, since, since they're siblings, they're going to have to get separated. And so she was like, I don't want them to have to keep getting separated. And so I told her I understood that. And so when... When I left my job and I thought about it some more, I was like, well, until we can figure out how to get them more help, what can we do about it right now? And so I started thinking about it. I was like, I'm going to start bringing snacks to work. Now, am I obligated to do this? No. But this is something that I want to do because I noticed that there is a need I started thinking about bringing snacks. I started thinking about, you know, buying certain uh, certain things. And 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 I'm not talking about just just buying things that are expensive, but just buying things that are affordable to to help them out so that they can eat at the job site. Their parents don't have to know that we're feeding them. But my thing is, what can I do? Why did God place me here? Why did God place a caring person like I am? here to see that something is going on so why did god place you in that home with that person what is he showing you why did god place you at that job what is he showing you are people getting mistreated are people feeling unloved like what is going on what can you do joseph what can you do moses we know that in the story with Moses, you know, uh, Moses, he was helping out the Hebrews. He realized that the Hebrew slaves, like they were, you know, uh, being beaten, being beaten. And so Moses had to do something about it. Moses had to do something about it because they were being mistreated and, and beaten. And so what I'm telling you is that don't just be be in the moment and always thinking about yourself. There's, there's too many people that only think about themselves like, oh, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. And you're always thinking about yourself, but you're not thinking about other people. You ain't thinking about your children. You're not thinking about your clients. You're not thinking about the people around you. What is God trying to show you? Sometimes God wants you to get out of your head. Get out of your head and start thinking about other people. Start thinking about other people. What are other people going, going through? Because I promise you, when you start helping other people, you'll feel better about yourself. I'm just a natural giver. Okay? I'm just a natural giver. And so I can't help but think about trying to help somebody when I see that somebody is, is, is in need. Okay? God was showing me something at my job. So what is God what is God showing you? Why did God move you? Why did God place you at that school? Why did God place you at that job? Why are you living with that particular person? What are you seeing? What is God showing you? Pay attention to to 
to, to what God is, 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 is showing you in your friends and your family members. What, what is God showing you? Okay. Cause God is revealing some things and he's allowing it to, he's allowing it to irritate us inside because he wants us to do something about it. Okay. Now we're not going to be able to save these people. Sometimes we, we can only do so much and that's okay. But we need to realize what, what our assignment is in this season. What is our assignment? What is God trying to show us? What is God trying to reveal to us? We need to pay attention. What is God doing right now? Like I said, said in this community post, like God is exposing hearts. He's exposing people. God is doing a lot of things that he didn't do in, 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 in the last season. God has shown me so much in this season. He's shown me so much. And I've been shocked. I've been shocked. I've been like, God, I didn't know so-and-so was like this. I didn't know this situation was going to be like this. God has been showing me so much. So pay attention to, to what God is showing you. There's a reason why you're in certain places. There's a reason why he has you at these places. Like it's no coincidence. Okay. Um, I'll share one more thing with you. So with my mom, she, uh, she works at this correctional facility. Okay. And so she noticed that, you know, some of the prisoners or the, some of the inmates in jail or whatever, like they're being mistreated. Now I know you could think that, oh, well, they must have did something. Um, th they must have did something to deserve the reason why they're, they're in jail. But regardless of what they did to get in jail, whether they did something or not, everyone deserves to be treated like a human. Everyone deserves to be treated like a human. I don't care what you don't been through. I don't care. Uh, uh, what didn't happen? Everyone deserves to be like, everyone deserves to be treated like a human. So with that being said, you know, my mom said that she, uh, the inmates appreciate when she comes in because even though I know my mom, even though my mom is still going to do her job, but she can still treat those inmates like a human. So if my mom sees her coworkers treating the inmates wrong, my mom is still going to be hurt. My mom's still going to do her job. She's still going to treat them like a human and they're going to appreciate that. And so maybe God sent my mom there to be the difference between the other coworkers, right? So again, God will place you in these jobs, in these situations, in, in, in these homes for a reason. Maybe because he wants you to be the change. Maybe he wants you to be the light. Maybe he wants you to be the difference. Maybe, maybe that particular situation or, or, or that area was so dark before you got there because God has called us to be the light. We are the light. Okay. We're supposed to be the light. So when God places you in these particular places, in these homes, in these jobs, in these schools, he ain't placing you there for no reason. He wants you to be the light. He wants you to be the light. He wants you to be different. He, he, he wants you to bring bring something fresh, something new. You never know that this particular place has been so dark before you got there, but now you bring them joy. But now, you know, just, just, just think about it. Like I, I even think about with my job that I have now, like I'm already planning to bring my clients snacks you know, like they are already bringing their own snacks, but I'm going to bring them more because I noticed that I noticed that they're not eating enough. And what I didn't tell you is that I come to find out they're being brainwashed by their parents because their parents are telling them, you know, if they ask for more food, they're being greedy. And, and in a sense, asking for too much food that can be looked at as greedy. But if you see my clients, they're skinny. They're really, really skinny. And so in my eyes, it would be okay if they ask for more food, okay? It would be okay. 
And I'm learning that they're not eating enough because they're constantly hungry. But they're being taught that if they if they ask for food again, it's greedy. So they're learning to basically just eat what they have, but yet they're still hungry. So I'm going to do my part, okay? Regardless of if, if that's part of my job description or not, I'm going to do my part and bring things because I want to. I know I don't have to, but I want to do it because I want to, okay? That's part of me being the light. That's part of me um, making them have a smile on, the, uh, on their face, all right? So I just encourage you to pay attention to what God is showing you in this season. How can you fix that problem? How can you help that problem? How can you be a light in that situation? All right. So I hope that this has encouraged you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.